For decades, terrorism plagued Afghanistan has resounded with explosions and cries of war. But now, Taliban-ruled Afghanistan is seeing a rise in tourism. In 2023, the number of tourists visiting Afghanistan grew by 120%. So what's fueling Afghanistan's tourism boom? News 9 Plus decodes. Let's look at some numbers. 691 foreign tourists visited Afghanistan in 2021. This rose to 2,300 in 2022 and to around 7,000 in 2023. That's a 1,000% increase. Most of the tourists are from China, India and the United States. Some are coming from few European countries as well. So what's really going on? The Taliban regime has been working actively to boost terrorism, touting improved security arrangements and a 5,000-year-old cultural heritage. In Kabul, a hospitality school is training former militants and locals in tourism management. The Taliban regime is also considering a visa on arrival system and an expansive marketing campaign with enhanced air connectivity with major hubs like Dubai. But is it safe to travel to Afghanistan? Well, tourism in Afghanistan still faces significant challenges. The infrastructure is inadequate. Cultural sites have been ravaged by decades-long conflicts. There are few hospitality facilities. Transportation is another issue, with poorly developed road networks and restricted air travel options. No Afghan airport has direct routes to major tourist markets. Visa acquisition is difficult and costly due to severe diplomatic ties and lack of international recognition of the Taliban. And then there are the security concerns, exemplified by the recent ISIS attack in Bamiyan that killed three Spanish tourists. How is the Taliban government addressing these concerns? Well, they have repeatedly claimed that Afghanistan is now safer than ever. They have emphasized improvements in security since their 2021 takeover. They have arrested suspects involved in attacks on tourists, such as the Bamiyan incident, to show their commitment to visitor safety. But threats from groups like ISIS remain. For foreign tourists, the Taliban government has mandated registration with local officials and strict regulations including dress codes and checkpoint searches. These steps aim to enhance safety but add to the bureaucratic burden. There are training programs to improve local hospitality and highlight Afghanistan's attractions. Key tourist facilities have been reopened and the government is working towards improving air connectivity. What are the ethical concerns regarding tourism under Taliban rule? The Taliban's restrictions on women's rights might lead tourists to unintentionally support oppressive practices. Additionally, while tourism can bring economic benefits, it may exploit or insensitively alter local customs and contribute to cultural commodification. Engaging with the Taliban-run tourism sector could legitimize an unrecognized government associated with human rights abuses. Additionally, tourism in the age of social media can present a distorted portrayal of Afghanistan's culture, obscuring its true social conditions. Afghanistan's rich heritage and landscapes offer potential, but overcoming these hurdles is crucial for sustainable tourism development.